everyone, welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I am Adrian, and today we have a great practice, yoga for beginners. This is a wonderful practice if you're wanting to get into yoga or you're returning to the mat. Today we're gonna to focus on foundation as a way to grow flexibility and create space in the body. So if you like this video and you have a good experience or you wanna to return to the video, you can click the add to tab below and add it to your favorites so you can find it easy and return to the practice and see how the body changes um, and how the practice evolves. But for now, hop into something comfy and let's do foundation and flexibility. All right, so we're gonna begin in a cross-legged position. You can take a blanket or a pillow, fold it up and sit up so you can sit up nice and tall if you have it. If you don't, don't worry about it. Just take a second to kind of ground down through the sit bones, whatever that means to you, and roll up through the spine. So you might drop your chin to your chest and you might take a nice conscious mindful moment. Maybe this is the first conscious mindful moment like this of the day to roll up through the staircase of the spine, maybe loop the shoulders forward, up and back, and then find some space. That's the goal of today is to find, create space in the body. So we'll just sit up nice and tall here. You can close your eyes, take a moment to just trust yourself, not looking at the video as we sit up nice and tall. And take a nice deep breath in and find a nice long exhale out. Again, trust yourself here. You can close your eyes and just listen to the sound of my voice here as we sit up nice and tall, lengthening through the crown, grounding down through the sit bones, softening or relaxing the jaw here, just noticing if you're clenching there or anywhere, softening and relaxing, and deepening the breath. See if you can give yourself permission to just be in the moment. This is easier said than done. I understand and acknowledge that. So just give yourself permission to be in the moment, be with this video, know that the to-do list and the doing and the tasks uh, that are on our list will definitely still be there when we're done with our video, when we're done with this practice. Couple more moments here, just noticing the breath and again, giving yourself permission to just be in the moment, to be on the mat, to take this time for yourself. Then you can keep the eyes closed here as we draw the chin to the chest. And we're just gonna check in with the neck. So drawing a couple circles with the nose. And then reversing the circle. You might notice a little soundtrack of crunchiness back and forth as you rock the head. And we're just kind of setting the tone, creating a vocabulary for our practice today, which is going to be find what feels good. Listen to your body and make the most of each breath, each moment, so that when you step off the mat and into the rest of your day, into the art of doing and the to-do lists and the tasks. You feel a little bit more at ease, a little bit more spacious, at peace. All right, couple more breaths here. And then we'll bring the head back to center and draw the shoulders up towards the earlobes. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, draw them down and away. Two more just like that. Inhale, shoulders lift up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And on an exhale, drawing the shoulders down and away. One more, we inhale, draw the shoulders up to the ears. 
And exhale, drawing the shoulder blades in together and down the back. Awesome, draw your palms together at your heart. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, open your mouth, let it go. Inhale, lift the sternum to the thumbs. Exhale, out through the mouth. One more, just like that, as if you were fogging up a window. Deep breath. Then exhale, let it go. Awesome, releasing the fingertips gently to your sides. We're gonna plant the left palm. Inhale, reach the right fingertips up and over. Pulse here for a couple breaths, finding a nice, Space, spacious stretch in the side body, not clenching anywhere, but keeping that space between the left ear and the left shoulder. Then inhale, smile, and exhale, swiftly move back through center, and we'll take it to the other side. Think up and over again, space, as we press into the sit bones, find length in the neck. So we're not holding here, we're not clenching, but again, setting the tone for our practice and perhaps for the rest of our day to find what feels good, to move how you see fit, and to really connect the body to the breath. Great. Inhale in. Smile. Follow your breath back to center. And we're going to spread the fingertips super, super wide and dive forward onto all fours. If you're sitting on a blankie um, or a pillow, you can now move it to the side. And we'll come to all fours for a little cat-cow. And just remember, the foundation is that which is touching the mat or the earth. So we're going to pay attention to our foundation here right away. Press into the tops of the feet. Press into the palms and press the earth away. Now just take a second here to rock front and back. And just notice when you kind of begin to get tired and collapse. And keep pressing the earth away. Again, paying attention to our foundation here. And then when you feel satisfied, release the floodgates open and we'll begin a little cat-cow. So inhaling, heart radiates forward, belly drops. We feel the stretch. You can move a little bit in the neck, in the tail. Again, kind of setting the tone for our practice that we are going to find organic movement here and not be so rigid, stuck, no rules. Take a deep breath in here. And then on an exhale, rather than just wham, creating this uh, rainbow shape or this end shape, start at your tailbone. See if you can crawl up the spine slowly. Again, just connecting to the sensations. And then we can find a little rock front and back here if that feels good. All right, let's continue inhaling, looping the shoulders, tri uh, dropping the belly. Got a little zen out there. Opening the heart towards the front edge of the mat. And then exhale, pay attention to your foundation as we move here. Maybe check in with the knees, the tops of the feet, press into the knuckles. Inhale, finding a little breath and movement synchronicity. Then exhale, navel draws up and we stretch the back. Cool, one more in your own time. Awesome, then we'll come back to tabletop position. We're going to bring the two big toes together and bring the knees as wide as the mat. Great, inhale, loop the shoulders, heart radiates forward. And exhale, send it back, extended child's pose. Oh, feel the legs stretch here, forehead comes to the mat, breathe. On your exhale, you might allow the weight of the heart to melt down towards the earth. And again, just pay attention to your foundation, even here, that which is touching the earth. Then on your next breath in, draw a line with your nose, look forward. We're going to shift our weight forward just as we did before, cat-cow variation here, but pressing up and out of the foundation. So we're not just collapsing in here. But we're pressing up out of the earth. Again, learning how to use our foundation to support, to gain more flexibility and space in the body. Take a deep breath in, follow your breath, your exhale, as you round it back again to that extended child's pose. 
Then inhale, heart scoops forward. We breathe in. And exhale, send it back. One more, just like that. We inhale, press in all 10 knuckles. The palms are going to want to get tired here. They probably are already. So just keep a nice awareness on the foundation. On an exhale, send it back. Cool. Now we'll lift the palms up and bring them together. Bring them up and over the head, kind of like a little shark fin here. Then I'm going to crawl my elbows out, finding a nice space in the side body, breathing into the arms and shoulders. Now you can find a little rock in the rib cage here, back and forth. And if the forehead is not yet touching the earth, the shoulders are too tight, you can bring the, the blanket here, just kind of lift the earth up to you. Or you can just stay mindful, let it hover here. One more breath cycle in and out. Deepest breath you've taken all day. Awesome. Then we'll bring the palms back down. Draw the navel up towards the spine. Again, nice integrative movement as we transition always back to all fours. Great. So we're going to take a second here to press away from the earth again, press into the tops of the feet, and just check in with one hovering cat, okay? So some might say that's not a beginner's pose, but it really is a great way to check in with this line from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone, and it also is an excellent, excellent, <laughs> it's an excellent way, it's an excellent way to, again, get this kind of, um, the theme of our practice today, this point of building from the ground up, from the foundations. So press away from the earth again. Make sure you have your alignment, wrists underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. And then we're gonna let the knees hover. Now the first thing that's probably gonna wanna go is the neck. So keep your gaze straight down and in front, perhaps just ahead and between your two index fingers. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, navel up towards the spine, and just notice how the body gets tired here, but how we can support it by continuing to press up and out of the foundation, by wrapping awareness through all parts of the body and of course keeping a good attitude one more breath here awesome everyone then exhale lower the knees great curl the toes under and walk the fingers up towards the tops of the thighs cool take a second here to inhale loop the shoulders forward up and back sit your weight back down on your heels and breathe into the feet Nice, long, smooth, deep breaths. And if this is too much, you can lift up for a break or two, but we're gonna take one more breath here on the feet. Then we'll spread the palms super wide again. Again, nice, mindful hand-to-earth connection. Dive forward. Great, with the toes already curled under, I'm going to keep the knees bent, melt my heart back, and as if uh, someone is lifting you up from your tail, like a mama would do to like a baby cub or something. We're gonna lift up from the tail. So keep the knees bent, lift the tail up, come into a nice first downward dog of the practice. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, slowly lower the knees. Just like that, one more time, as if someone were, was lifting you up from your tail. Pedal it out now, bending the knees one and then the other, drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And then exhale once again, slow descend back down to all fours. Cool, bring the two big toes together again, wide in the knees as wide as your mat. Cool, now we're gonna walk the palms in, bring the right palm into the center line. So again, playing with our foundation, I'll tuck my shirt in a little bit here, okay. Playing with our foundation, there's this tendency to collapse into um, kind of the wrists and the arms That's why we all kind of say I can't do yoga because I have bad wrists But actually you can do yoga and your wrists need your time and attention and love <laughs> Probably more than you know, so here we go pressing up out of the earth here. Just practice that finding that openness in the chest and the heart <sighs> Again pressing away Pressing into all knuckles and really the mound of that thumb and that index finger pressing into the earth 
Cool. Inhale, open up through the left wing. Left arm reaches up towards the sky. We're gonna do three of these. We open the chest and then exhale back to center. Don't collapse here. Keep pressing away. What's happening to the tops of the feet? Keep pressing up and out of your foundation as we open up again. It doesn't have to open up all the way. It might only come to here if you're new to the practice or maybe even to here. So just ride your beautiful wave as you inhale, open. Exhale, close. And one more. We inhale, open. Keep pressing away from the earth. And exhale, close. Awesome. Walk the palms in front. Send it back for a rest. Extended child's pose. Rising back up on the inhale, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So bringing the left palm into the center line now, taking a second to press up and out of the foundation. Again, check in with the tops of the feet. Cool. Inhale, opening up into our twist, opening the chest, the heart. We reach right fingertips up towards the sky. I seriously doubt I was able to bring my, my range of motion all the way here when I was new to the practice. So again, it might come here, it might come here, it might come here, but we're not collapsing. We're opening up, pressing away from the earth. On an exhale, float it down, and we'll do two more of these. Inhale. Don't forget about the tops of the feet. One more, keep extension through the crown. And exhale, float it down. Awesome, walk the palms in front. Draw the knees back underneath the hip points. Curl the toesies under, and again, as if someone were lifting you up from your tail. Here we go. Now we pedal the feet here. So there's no rush to get to the yoga journal ad. That's ridiculous, y'all. Uh, no offense to Yogi Journal, just saying no, no need to create a shape you've seen before. Create your own shape and sensation, and I promise you will find uh, some juicy rewards in yoga asana practice. Pedal it out. One more deep breath in. You got this. And then exhale another slow descend down to the knees. Awesome. Great, so we're gonna come onto the tops of the feet here, just for a little stability. And I'm gonna send my right toes all the way out. Take a deep breath here to point and flex the feet, just stretch that right leg. You might even rotate the right ankle one way and then the other, noticing if you're collapsing into your arms, press away. Then nice and slow, draw your right knee all the way up and we're gonna slowly place our right foot. So I only say slowly so that we're not just like whoa because that happens and it's natural. <laughs> so just trying to gain a little awareness here in the beginning stages of our practice and so we can do it always, right? So bending that right knee up slowly and placing it up in front. Cool. Take a second to just kind of make sure you're on two skis rather than a tight rope. Ooh. Give yourself some space. We'll draw the fingertips to the waistline. Press down with the thumbs to lift your heart up. So nice, strong front leg there. Cool, now just notice if that front knee is over the front ankle or perhaps lagging behind. See if you can stack that front knee above that front ankle. Great, then take your right thumb and pull the right hip crease back. In fact, that might change your stance, pulling it a little bit shorter than you were before. If you're feeling like this left knee is going jazz hands, then um, jazz knee. Shut up. Um, then you can double up on your mat here, or once again, you can use your blanket to pad. <laughs> Made a mess, okay. I have uh, double mats today, so I'm good on my knee. So we've pulled the right hip crease back. We've lifted up through the heart, and then we're just gonna take a second to breathe here. Notice when you feel like, whoa, hug the inner thighs together. Stand up nice and tall through the crown of the head, and once again, Use your foundation. So there's definitely more than meets the eye here. This isn't just like, oh, boring beginner's pose. Uh-uh, hell no. Press into the top of that back foot and feel that upward current of energy. So we're definitely not trying to make the practice rigid or, or you know, but we are trying to find nice alignment and um, remind ourselves that we can do a lot with the energetic body. So press up and out of your foundation, find this upward current of energy, this lift, kind of like a superhero here as we open the chest. <sighs> then you can stay here for stability, or you can test your balance a little bit by reaching the fingertips forward, up, and back. So we're pulling the thumbs back. There's no need to be tight here. You can open it nice and wide. 
Great. If you're feeling adventurous, my friend, you might look up, slowly drawing the focus up towards the sky. And this is a great place to just test your balance and find that foundation. Pressing into the ball joint of that front big toe, pressing into the back foot, and again, maintaining that beautiful upward current of energy. Cool, one more breath here. Then exhale, slowly float the fingertips down. Send the fingertips forward. We're gonna curl the back toes under and this should feel great as we lift that knee, yeah baby, and come into our runner's lunge. Take a second here to just work it out. You might find a little movement rocking front, back, any organic movement side to side. Then checking in with your alignment and breathing into the tight places kind of rocking or lingering in any place that needs a little love. Cool, then inhale, everyone look forward to become light on the fingertips and exhale, plant the palms and step it back to your downward facing dog, nice and slow. Three breaths here, in and out. And then slowly lowering the knees back down to the earth. Great. Here we go again. Now on the other side, come onto the tops of the feet nice and strong. Send the left toes out long. Nothing fancy here, just checking in with that sit bone to heel connection, pointing and flexing the foot, maybe rotating the ankle one way and then ziaza. And then bending that left knee and nice and slow. And I only say slow so that we start to anchor in the power of awareness. So nice and slow as we step that left foot up. If it doesn't make it all the way, use your hand to find your shape. Again, not on a tight rope, but nice and spacious here. Cool, bring the fingertips to the waistline. Press the thumbs into the back to lift your heart up. Nice, strong leg there. Feel free to pad that right knee. We're gonna take the left thumb, whenever you're ready, and pull that left hip crease back. So you, again, you might find that it shortens your stance a little bit here. Left hamstring parallel to the earth. So now we have our shape, now we go beyond the shape because yoga is not just about the shape shifting. That's not fun. It's not as fun, not as rewarding. So we take a second to lift the heart and find that upward current of energy. And we can do that by pressing into the foundation. Nice and strong. Pressing into all four corners of that front foot. We breathe here. If we feel a little, whoa, we can hug the inner thighs together. We can use the openness, openness, excuse me, the openness in the heart and maybe ground a little weight down through the shoulder blades or the elbows. So finding that opposition. You can stay here or reach the fingertips forward, up and back again. You can Take up as much space as you, as you need to here. Breathing deep, nice, long, smooth, deep breaths. If you're feeling adventurous, draw a line with the nose, slowly look up. Hugging inner thighs to the midline, chest is open. Take one more breath in here, you got this. Press into your feet. And on an exhale, let it rain down, wash it away, belly to the thigh. We come into our runner's lunge. This is gonna feel good, yeah. Cool, so take a second here to work it out. Rocking front, back, side to side, finding any organic movement that feels awesome for you. <sighs> Breathing into the front of that right hip crease, continuing to peel that left hip crease back when necessary. And of course, just checking to make sure that that front knee isn't straining past that front ankle too much. How's your neck? Everyone check in with your neck. Take a deep breath in. And then we'll plant the palms and step it back to downward dog once again. Pedal the feet. Now we're gonna go for a walk. So slowly walking up towards the front of our mat, but I encourage you to take this second to you know get your money's worth. Find what feels good. Check in with the feet. You can come up onto the fingertips. Move nice and slow, and then together we'll land in a nice forward fold here. All right, guys, we're doing good. Let it all hang, bend your knees, grab your elbows, and rock a little side to side. <sighs> it's 
Keep returning back to your breath. Nice, long, smooth, deep breaths. We'll release the fingertips and bend the knees generously now as we draw the chin into the chest and slowly roll it up. You can close your eyes for this. Again, just trust. What we're doing is we're slowly rolling up to a standing posture, mountain pose. So give yourself a little bit of freedom to close your eyes and check in with the body as we roll up to mountain. When you arrive, loop the shoulders forward, up, and back again, and bring your awareness to the feet. Now the foundation of this pose, pressing away from the earth by drawing energy up from the arches of the feet. You might lift the kneecaps a little, and you know, everyone can interpret this a little bit different, especially in the beginning stages of practice. But again, we often just kind of think about this part. It's like I'm an actor, a lot of actors only think about acting from here up, but it's a full body experience, right? So start at your feet, press away from the earth. Again, just connecting to the Shakti or the energetic, the energy, the energetic current that lifts up. And then really easy, we're gonna inhale, reach the fingertips up, palms come together. And exhale, float the fingertips down and away. Keep an awareness on the feet as you inhale, reach up. And exhale, float the fingertips and maybe now slightly behind the hip points. And one more time, deep breath. Press up out of the earth, long spine. Exhale, fingertips interlace behind the tailbone here. And we can either keep the fingertips square, if that feels right, or we can bring the palms together. So palms together might be a place that we work towards. So anywhere in between two is fine. And then nothing fancy, just take a second here to rock a little side to side to open the chest. Check in with the neck, the shoulders. Don't lose sight, don't lose awareness of your foundation as we work it out here, opening, opening. And then with an awareness, with a grace, almost with a, a bit of you know, elegance, we'll release the fingertips. And inhale, reach it up. Exhale, soft bend in the knees as we dive forward all the way. Cool, inhale, lift to a flat back position. Today we're gonna slide the palms all the way up to the tops of the thighs, keep a soft bend in the knees, and return to the sensations we had perhaps in that hovering cat. So again, pressing away from the earth, drawing the shoulders away from the earlobes. One more breath here, nice, long, beautiful neck. Gaze is down for one more breath. And then slowly we'll slide the palms down the fronts of the legs, bring the fingertips to the mat, and step our right foot back into that runner's lunge. Take a deep breath as you look forward towards the front edge of your mat. On the exhale, slowly lower, soften that right knee to the earth. Bring the right palm in line with the arch of the left foot here. Then notice how we're just kind of collapsing everything in. I'm guilty of I'm doing it right now. See if you can find a little integrity by, again, bringing a little awareness to your foundation. We're going to press up and out of that right palm, even out of that, right, uh, that left foot. And then I'm going to come on to the top of the right foot and find a little awareness there. Cool, moving into a twist, I inhale, slowly open up through the left wing, and same thing as before, I'm not gonna collapse in, but I'm gonna press up out of my foundation. So my inner thighs are hugging together, I'm pressing away from the earth, inhale in, exhale, float it down. Two more just like this, inhale, pay attention to your foundation to float your pose. Exhale, back to center. Last one, inhale, soft, graceful fingertips here. And exhale, release. Awesome, everyone. Curl the right toes under. We'll come onto the fingertips. Then we're gonna send the sit bones up and back, straightening that left leg and keeping that left heel on the earth. So most of us might just stay here. In fact, I'm just gonna stay here. You might find a little bit of movement back and forth. You might allow the weight of the head to relax over. If you're not really feeling a deep stretch here, you might send it all the way back, right sit bone to the heel. But otherwise, I suggest for today, keeping the hip points lifted and pulling that left hip crease back. Again, weight of the head over. Couple breaths here. Breathing into the back of that left leg.
Then rolling through that left foot, I'll slowly come back to my runner's lunge. Yeah, baby. Lift that right knee and look forward. Deep breath in. Awesome. And exhale, plant the palms, step it back to your down dog. And then we'll find a nice slow descent of the knees back down and shift our weight forward to a half, half plank. So this might take a little bit of adjusting, but I'm wanting to lengthen the tailbone down towards the backs of the knees only to create a nice long line from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone. Okay, toes can stay on the ground or lifted, doesn't matter. Here, as we breathe, press away from the earth again. Then take your gaze, shift your weight slightly forward, and we're gonna hug the elbows into the side body and lower all the way down to the belly. Cool, keep the palms underneath the shoulders, press into the tops of the feet, press pubic bone into the earth. So again, find your foundation. And we're gonna inhale, lift up to a baby cobra. Exhale, forehead kisses the mat. Two more just like that. Inhale, press into your foundation. Create space as you press away from the earth, baby cobra. Exhale, float it down. Last one, loop the shoulders, pull the elbows back, press away from the earth. And exhale, forehead kisses the mat. Awesome, curl the toes under, hang with me, draw the navel to the spine, send the sit bones up and back, downward facing dog. Beautiful, everyone. Take a deep breath in and let it out through the mouth. Okay, nice and easy. We're going to step that right foot up now into our lunge and soften the left knee down to the earth. Cool, same thing as before. Again, finding that foundation here as we bring the left palm now in, in line with the arch of the right foot and bring the left, uh, did I say left foot, left palm? Well, maybe I did it right. Left palm in line with the arch of the right foot and then softening the top of that left foot down to the earth. Great. Make sure you're not on a tight rope here. Right hip crease is pulling back. And I inhale, soft fingertips as I open. Again, I might just come to here opening the chest. Maybe here, maybe each time I grow a little more each time I do this video. But I'm keeping my foundation. So a tendency here is that that knee is going to want to open here so that I can open my chest up more. No, building from the ground up. So keep that... Um, Ball joint of that right big toe down on the earth as you inhale, squeezing the inner thighs towards the midline, opening up. Exhale, float it down. We can also be on the fingertips here if we need. Inhale, opening up. And exhale, floating it down. If you have a block, you can also be on the block here. Last one, inhale, open up into your twist. Nice deep belly breath here. Nice purifying twist. And then exhale, float the fingertips down. Great, come on to the fingertips, curl the back toes under. Think up and over as we rock back onto that right heel. Peel the right hip crease back and stretch it out, letting the weight of the head softly fall over. Breathe. One more breath here. Then slowly again, rolling through the front foot, nice and slow. We'll plant the palms and we'll step it back. <sighs> Coming onto all fours. Bring the two big toes together, widen the knees as wide as the mat and send it back, extended child's pose. So even here, although we consider this a resting pose, we can pay attention to our foundation Use our breath to find nice, deep opening stretches. Inhale, look forward, and exhale. Forehead kisses the mat, heart melts down. Pay attention to your foundation here as you quiet the breath. Again, taking this moment for yourself, letting go of any stress, any tension in the body, in the heart, in the mind. This is a beautiful pose for all levels, for 
just surrendering to that which is greater than you. So if you're frustrated or you have a heavy heart or full plate, stressed out, come into this posture. Take five nice, long, deep breaths. And slowly pressing into all 10 fingerprints, we're going to rock back up to all fours. Walk the knees underneath the hip points. Cross the ankles. And slowly, nice and easy, use your palms or your fingertips to guide you all the way through and to seated, a nice seated posture here. We'll cross the legs. And just a gentle twist. So right palm comes to the left knee. We bring the left fingertips behind. We inhale, lift up and out of our foundation to find that upward current of energy. And then exhale, journey into your twist. So I'm not cranking here. I'm using my foundation and this upward lift to create space. And I'm using my exhale to explore. You can even lift the hands to do a hands-free version here, just making sure that we're pressing into the outer edges of the feet. We're lifting up through the heart. And on your exhale, gently melt it back through center, and we'll take it to the other side. Left palm to the right knee, right fingertips behind. Again, so often when we come here, um, we just kind of forget about the legs and the feet. So again, we're paying attention to the foundation, drawing energy up from the earth in order to find more space, more integrity, flexibility in the body. So it's kind of a great rule of thumb to just kind of think of everything from the ground up here, especially in a twist as we use the exhale to explore, the inhale to lift and lengthen. You can experiment on this side too, going hands-free. We'll take a nice deep breath in and use the exhale to gently melt it back to center. Great. Catch the palms and the knees here. Excuse me. And we're going to slowly draw the navel back, chin to chest, stretch the back here, breathe. Then palms on the knees here. I'm going to slowly release my ankles and rock back onto a oh, flat back position, hugging the knees to the chest. That felt great. So we'll wrap the arms around the shins here and just give yourself a hug. Never underestimate the power of a little hug here on the mat. It's great for the spine, great for the lower back. Even a great little squeeze and massage to the digestive organs here as we relax the shoulders down, squeeze the legs into the belly. Cool, then we'll slowly release soles of the feet to the mat and bring the fingertips down so the arms are nice and straight. Now hike your heels up to where your fingertips end here, toes pointing forward. Now last pose before we relax here, we're gonna press into the palms, press in all four corners of the feet. Again, remember your foundation. As you inhale, slowly lift the tailbone up, lift the hip points up towards the sky. Now notice as we peel, our foundation changes. We lift the spine up, lifting, 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 all the way up as far as you can go, and then exhale, massaging the spine as we replace the foundation down and release buttocks to the earth. Again, inhaling, pressing into all four corners of the feet. We lift the tailbone up, slowly rising, and then exhale, float it down. One more, just like this, press into your foundation, but keep a sense of grace and ease as we lift the tailbone up. Feel that stretch in the front body. 
And then exhale, slowly release. Okay, so this next time we're gonna keep the gaze straight up, so don't turn your head side to side to look to the video. Tuck the chin into the chest, and we're gonna inhale, slowly rise up. Listen to the sound of my voice here as we prepare for bridge pose, Setu Bandhasan. So I can stay here now with the hips lifted for a couple breaths. Imagine shooting your sit bones towards the backs of your knees here as you lift the pelvis. Now we can stay here, palms pressing into the earth, or we can shimmy the shoulder blades in and interlace the fingertips behind the tailbone, opening the chest. Breathe here, wrists are square, our palms together. We breathe, we press in all four corners of the feet. You can take your gaze to your belly and look at the, the inhale as it stretches the belly long. Then on an exhale, with control, with grace, let the fingertips release and make your slow exit down. Awesome, when you arrive, hug the knees to the chest one last time, give yourself a hug, rock a little side to side. Then release the soles of the feet to the mat, extend the right leg out long, followed by the left, if you have a blanket here, you can cover up with the blanket or you can uh, pillow the head. It's also nice to roll a blankie up, put it behind the knees and let the arms spill out gently to the side. Preparing for our final and most precious posture today, Shavasana. You can stay here as long as you like, breathing, letting the mind be at ease, letting the heart rest, feeling the support of the earth here. So this is really yummy, especially after doing such an active beginner's practice, pre you know, pressing up and out of the foundation, finding that integration. Here is a posture where we do the opposite to balance it out. We allow this, the, the mind and the body to rest. We allow ourselves the permission really to do absolutely nothing, to just be still, to soften and release and relax and allow and let go. And I just want to say, I know that this can be kind of the hardest pose for some people, particularly in a world where we're just constantly going, 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 and doing, doing, doing. So if this is difficult for you, consider this just like any other posture, one that you need to practice, evolve, and grow. Keep allowing yourself the permission to do absolutely nothing, hence the name, the corpse pose giving yourself this moment to relax in Shavasana. Let the breath return to its natural rhythm. You can stay here, open yourself up to a new experience. Maybe stay here a little bit longer than you even anticipated and have a great most beautiful rest of the day. Nice work, everyone. Namaste.